Hey Eurovision fans, it is getting serious. The first rehearsals of the first semi-final have taken place and even though the only thing unfortunately we can see is the TikTok video uh, shots from the performances and a few photos in the photo gallery of Eurovision.tv, still you know we can form our informed but so far not very maybe objective opinion. Opening the semi-final, semi-final one is our gorgeous Alessandra, the Queen of Kings from Norway. <laughs> performance that I'm showing you guys the little snippet of. Uh, here is uh, basically beautiful beautiful lights but overall it's the same as in the national selection. We see the same type of dancers, a little bit different uh, choreography uh, but overall it pretty much repeats the national selection um, performance. Now is it good or bad? It's up to you to decide but uh, so far my comments are good sides. Uh, they kept it original, which was already, wow, a national performance. And if that conquered the hearts of Norway and mine <laughs> and many others, I think, you know, that Alessandra was viral on TikTok uh, because of her voice, her power, her presence. Yeah, the music video, by the way, sucked for this one, but we are not so much about music video here. We are about her live performance. So a great light on stage. Uh, good that they kept the national performance for the most part, uh, even though I would maybe add one, two, three new things. But then again, most people haven't seen the national performance who are going to watch Eurovision for the first time. 180 million people are watching Eurovision mostly for the first time. Another obviously uh, plus is wonderful, wonderful strong vocals. Oh my God, the girl can sing. And this whistling note, which you guys all love and I'm absolutely adoring, she nailed it. <laughs> Even though after the performance, she was like, ah, by the end of the rehearsals, I was like, ah, you know, couldn't really make any <laughs> a whistling note. It's so funny because the last whistle we were like, ah! <laughs> Can she win the whole semi? I don't think so. Probably not. I do believe it will be obviously Lorene or a second or maybe first. Uh, Kariak, but um, I don't see it maybe as winning the whole semi. However, it's also because she's performing first. This is very hard to perform first. And uh, honestly, I have nothing on the negative side to say about this performance, just that it will be a little bit forgotten by the end of the first semi. But I do hope since they're giving her the first position to perform in the semi, they are going to give her a lovely position in the final, let's hope so. Even though then there is a draw and one by one the participants uh, take out this piece of paper saying whether they are in the first part of the final or the second. And then of course a lot depends on that. But I do think that even if she ends up in the first part of the final, and of course she's going to the final, um, there's no doubt about that, that the EBU are going to give her a nicer place closer to closing the first semi. She deserves to be remembered and watched by everyone without any toilet break. <laughs> Thanks for watching me and join me for the following videos. Bye! She will be